Alright, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we're going to be talking about some of the emergency lighting that I have down here, because someone commented on one of my videos saying that they spotted one of my emergency light sets, and I have two down here in the case of a power outage. I believe I've touched on them a little bit, but today I'm actually going to go into a full-on everything about them. So there are two down here. There is one in the room behind the panel, and then there was one at the base of the stairs. We're going to start at the stairs one first. So we are just going to fly on over up to here. It's a basic Lithonia lighting LED two head lamp. Nothing major. Conduit comes down and over and over to a switch box here and then plugs in there. At the switch box, I have a tamper resistant switch. And when you flip it down to interrupted, it will cut the power to the light so you can do work on it or um, it can actually be used as a portable light. You can pop these two tabs here and the whole lamp base will come off and then you can take it. So in the event of a power outage down here, uh, we come down here, we do whatever needs to be done down here alarm-wise to silence, and then we take the lights and take them upstairs. And then this is just so we're not pulling on the plug a whole lot, just to keep it nice. And then once you want it back to energized, you flip it back up to energize, and then the lamp goes up. This particular one, uh, I just got it six months ago maybe, um, it can hold a charge pretty well. I think I can get about three hours out of it, which is pretty good considering it's only rated for an hour and a half. Uh, yeah, and it lights up pretty well. So now we are going to go over to the other light, which is back in here. You guys have probably seen it before, so let me just get back there. So this is my second Lithonia lighting back here. Um, it's tied in actually directly to our house circuit. That circuit that it's going to is going down to our sump pump. Where I live, it is pretty much clay everywhere in the dirt. And that means it holds a lot of water and pushes a lot of water down. So we get a lot of water down here. We have two sump pumps in here. There's a regular one and a backup one. The backup run is, uh, is running through here. and runs as a normal sump pump through battery backup. And this one, once it's done actually draining, there we go. Um, <laughs> when the power goes out, it'll actually give us an alarm much like a panel. So what happens is you have to get here and traverse all through this messy room to get back here to silence this alarm to make sure that the pump is actually functioning like it should, because think about it, when does the power go out? During a thunderstorm. What's happening during a thunderstorm? lots of rain so we get a lot of water down here so what i did is there's the outlet that comes down the builders who build our house were awful so just pretend like this doesn't exist the outlet comes down for the sump pump that the two pumps plug into that little uh that little wire is the one that goes to the battery back up to make sure that everything is good so once power goes out or if this circuit is interrupted because the sump pump is on its own breaker the emergency light will kick on which i will actually demonstrate but first you know Here's the light, light works, it shines down on the sump and then out towards your path of egress. So, ouch. What we're actually gonna do is we are gonna come over here to my main breaker panel. Do not try this at home. Um, just don't. So we are gonna come over to my main breaker panel and we're actually gonna turn the sump pump off. And an alarm is gonna start. And you'll see the light will kick on. So see the emergency light kicked on and there's an alarm going on the sump pump saying that, hey, main pump's not getting power. Because normally in an event where the power is out, it is pitch black in here. So you need some sort of light to get out of here. Oops, so I can actually turn everything back on. So you actually need a way to get out of here. And then what you have to do when this alarm is going off is you have to come back here and actually turn it off. But, you know, we leave it on to know if something's wrong. So that is basically what these two emergency lights do. I'm going to go kick the breaker back on real quick. And then the other... Uh, the other light is just tied into the outlet circuit in the basement. So if 
the outlets of the basement. If the outlets of the front half of the basement lose power, then the lights will come on. So that has been a quick demonstration of the emergency lighting down here. So thank you guys for watching and as always, have a wonderful day. <laughs>